Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be making a spider web and with me today I have two classes of kindergarten students. They are five years old and I bet I got a couple four-year-olds. So would you like to say hello? hello. Oh they can't hear you. Oh, great. All right. And they don't know how to make spider webs. So I said, okay, we're going to be making a fall picture. And I noticed there was lots of spider webs around my art, my, my yard. And so I thought that'd be fun. And I asked them, do you know how to make a spider web? And they said, no. So that's why we're making this video. So children can learn how to make a spider web. I'm going to teach you hopefully two different kinds. Well, actually, I'll just show you one for now. So we're going to find the center of our paper, and we're going to play a game. It's called I Do, You Do. So whatever I do, you watch carefully, and then I'll pause, and you do it. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is find the center of my page, and I'm going to put a little tiny dot there. It's a very small dot. Now you do. I do, you do. Next step, if your pencil doesn't work, you just switch it out and get another one. Next step, find the dot, go to the top. And we're actually making what's called a radial design. Next step, and we're going to go quick, find the dot, go to the bottom. Find the dot, go to the side. And I call it just like, we call it driving our car, right? We start at the dot, drive the car, right to the edge of the page. We're using up our whole paper. We want a giant spider web. Find the dot, go to the edge of the page, all the way up to the tippity, tippity, tippity top, and I'm headed toward the corner. So drive your car right to the corner. Find the dot, now I'm in the bottom box here, we've divided this into quarters, four of them. That's a qu four is one fourth of this page. So you find your car, start it out here, and I'm gonna drive it to this corner, Whee! all the way down here. Straight, if it's a little crooked, that's okay, because you notice the spider webs, they're not all perfect, are they? I was really looking at them the other day, and they are amazing. Start it here. There's different kinds of spider webs. Some spiders make, drive it to the corner. Some spiders make radial designs out of their webs. It's so amazing. I can't believe it. In the morning, it's a little bit. And then by the time, or at night, it's a little bit. That's when I saw it. And then in the morning, it's huge. So the spider was working all night. Find your dot. Go all the way to the edge. Corner, corner. So now I've divided this into eight little pies. Count them. Starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of pie. Now, if you want to make it more pieces of pie, you can add more just to make it real fancy. But for us, we're just going to do eight. That way we have plenty of room to add our little spiders to this. Now, we're going to make the web. Now we're going to connect and make a web. And... Actually, I'm going to show you how to do the spider first. That way we can you learn how to make a spider. And then you will add the web around it. So find one of these eighths. So we've just divided it into eight pieces. So it's one eighth. Go into one of the eighths of the piece of pie. Just you pick any one. I'll pick this one. And we're going to start near, near this center. And I'm going to do a circle. That's going to be the spider head. And I'm going to do a bigger circle. And I'm going to put some legs. Now, how many spider legs does spiders have? Eight. Smart. So, how many on each side? This is a trick question. How many legs are going to be on each side? Yes. Three. Well, if I put three, let's do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's going to give me how many legs? Six. Six. How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Eight. So how many more legs do I need to add? Two. Oh, you guys are so smart. 
Do I put two on this side? No. You put one on each side. Exactly. Oh my goodness. Now, the, aren't they smart? Now, we did not practice this video. They are so smart. They already know. So, I'm putting four on each side. That makes what? Four plus four? Good. Oh, you're so smart. So, we're going to make legs. Now, once you have them coming out, one, two, three, four, then you connect them to the web. Droop. Drive your car right to the web. This one's already connected. There you go. Now, depending on your spider, you can add some eyeballs right here. You can add some fangs. You can add some hair on his back. What kind of spider are you going to make? Some spiders have are beautiful. They have all colors over them. Some are black, so it's going to be your decision. But now let's go ahead and do our spider web, and then I'll let you finish this on your own. Now, of course, some spiders have babies too. Tons of babies all over, so we can make that in a minute. So connect the web. Watch how you connect webs. Start off at any one of these pies and go connect straight to straight. Now I'm going to go down straight line. I'm going to go across the page and I'm just going to continue this and what the spider does now look when I meet the spider I just go behind the spider. I'm going to show you what he does is say he's going to be or she is going to be making this web. They start off at one point and they just jump to the next point. And what happens is, to make a, this is how the spiders make their web, is in the back here, there's a little gland that secretes this thread that comes out. And as the spider hops, pretend my pen is a spider, hop, he hops and leaves it, hop, then he leaves it, hop, and that's how they make their web. So you continue this line straight though. You want this to be straight, straight, hop behind your spider, straight. Just keep on doing these straight lines here. Actually, sometimes they even make them curvy. That's right, as I'm thinking. We're doing this impromptu, this video. Sometimes they do it a little bit curvy just to show it dips in a little. That's perspective. Go behind your spider and just connect all these lines together. Isn't this simple? You're just connecting straight. So a little bit of a dip is fine. And you're just connecting as you go along. And it's a, it forms what's called a radial design. It's a design that radiates out from a center point. I'm even making my center really tiny as I connect straight, 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 straight. So a design that radiates out from a center point and repeats. And you can see this is this, all straight lines and the same on the other side, all straight lines and it repeats it. So this pattern is repeated in every pie. That's a radial design. And so a spider web could be considered a radial design. And you would continue until you fill in all your space. Now, if you wanna add baby spiders or other spiders or other insects, you may to your spider picture. Just stick them on a line and then Add some little legs and finish up your picture. And that's how you make a radio design spider web. If you had fun, make sure that you let me know in the comments that you made a great spider web with us.